Hi loves, what's up? And welcome back to the channel. Okay, we're here, we're alive. Pink Paper Doll. Hi loves, it's me, your girl Z, and welcome to my channel. All of my social media will be linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. I have been so stressed out. My nervous system is shot, you guys. I can't even begin to tell you what's been happening. This whole situation with moving has just made me so anxious. I haven't slept for like three days straight. Quick update, we saw two more places. Well, we there was a lot of Huntings, but we found two more places that we really really liked bunny called the leasing company the of the place that we rent now and he kind of just told them hey can we get an extra month um can we get till the end of february to move out and they were okay with that but while they were on the phone with him they kind of told him hey we have this other place available it's a two-bedroom condo and it's in burbank hey they were like it's it just opened up. There's no interest on the property yet. Um, we're still trying to figure out a price on it. Me and Bunny went and saw the place and I'll try to insert footage of the place. And we liked the place. The place was cool. The only thing is we were looking, originally looking for a four bedroom house, but this place they only had two, which means there would have been an issue because I wouldn't have any office space. And it was nice. It was in a prime area. It was close to the mall, close to all of the shops and bars and trendy. It was just like in a really trendy area. The only thing about the place was it didn't have, in my opinion, enough space. Like it was smaller than I was hoping for. And um, the bathroom and the kitchen wasn't updated, which means we would have to update that, which I'm not opposed to doing. Oh, there's a washer and drying unit, so we don't have to worry about that, which is really good. Then yesterday, we went and we saw a house that is a little bit further out. And it was a three bedroom, two bath house. And it was like, in my opinion, it would have been like perfect for us. Um, but it was a little bit far further out. It's not in LA. It's like a little bit further out, like towards Palmdale area. So we were really kind of debating that and the rent was so much cheaper than it was like three hundred dollars cheaper than the condo but we put the application in on the house but they decided not to process our application because somebody else had already put their application in and had gotten approved before us then they called me back and they said actually those people decided to back out if you're still interested we'll continue to process your application and let you know in a few days if you get approved i was like yes absolutely while that's happening, we also have the condo on the line. Finally, I get an answer from the house that your application is approved. So now we have two places that we're trying to decide. This is good, right? Because we have options. Now, we put our application in. Right after we saw the condo, we went straight to the leasing office and put our application in. So basically, we had two applications in on two different place properties. We have the house and then we had the condo. So Bunny's leaning more towards the condo and I'm leaning more towards the house. That's what's happening. So to make a long story short, we pretty much got approved for the house and now we're waiting to find out if we got approved on the condo before we make a decision on the house. It really is like a toss up, like which place are we gonna get? And I really could see myself in both places. Now, the condo, I don't think we're allowed to have pets and it also has carpet, which was a con for us because we really didn't want a pet. And if we get the house, they do allow pets and the floors are all hardwood and it has a cute little like backyard with a pomegranate tree. And I just, I could totally see our puppy like out there playing in the, you know, in the pomegranate cheese. Like I could just totally see it, but we are cutting it close because we have to make a decision today on whether or not we're going to sign that lease on the house. And so I, I'm just, I don't even know you guys. I'm like, I don't know how to feel because I'm at the point where like, just make it easy for us and don't approve us on the condo so we can just choose the house. But then the other part of me is like, but that location is bomb.com. Like that location is it. I feel like after we move, um, everything will be a lot better. And that's just what I wanna do, like move in, settle in. 
I plan on doing all of these great videos for you guys like renovation videos and home decor videos and like home videos and cooking videos. Ooh, that kitchen ooh, that kitchen in the house would be so nice for the cooking videos. Kitchen in the condo, not so much. Um, I really hate the kitchen in the condo. <laughs> like I really I despise it. Yeah. I got my Dunkin'. I got um a caramel oh oops. I think I'm not paying attention and I'm gonna miss my turn. I went to Dunkin' and I got a caramel macchiato with extra caramel. I've been talking for like 16 minutes, which feels like an hour. But yeah, I just want to give you guys that quick update. Um, you'll probably see, I, I don't, this will probably be a part of another vlog. This won't be the end, it's just an update video. Comment below and let me know which one you thought we pick. Which one you think we'll pick. Or which one you guys think we should pick. Comment below which one you like better and which one you think we should pick. I'm going to see you loves in the next clip. Um, yeah, bye. We're at the old place and we're almost moved out. We started moving on Friday and then we, um, some unpredictable things happened and then we ended up moving all day yesterday and we got majority of the stuff out and now we're back today to clean everything up and yeah there's bunny he's not happy about this cleaning no but he's here he's here um a lot of it is just stuff we need to throw away and that's it i'm gonna show you like a little bit of tour of the old apartment since we've moved out I think it's safe to show you guys. So this is the door where you enter. And then there's a window right next to that door. And then this is the living room space. This is a drug block, yo. <laughs> and then from the living room space, you can also see the open kitchen space, which I actually like that this the kitchen's open. I always like when the kitchen is open. Um, but yeah, it wasn't enough space. Here's the table and chairs that we used to eat at. Bunny used to work right here. Here's, here's Zuri's underwear. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. And there are some plants that we had that passed away. Bunny's favorite plants, but it's okay. They're coming. We're getting new ones. They're not coming, Scott. <laughs> Are you gonna say? Are you gonna not, that? They, You're not, not gonna allow your children to come. We're to not gonna have this conversation on film. <laughs> um, here's the kitchen. We're gonna try to pry those rugs up, but I think they're stuck down to the floor, so they might be staying. Stove, cabinets. This is the kitchen window. All of our beautiful greeneries are coming. We have these dishes in a sink that we need to clean. I've already cleaned out the fridge yesterday, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> And yeah, oh, let me go this way. You guys can see how dark it is. You'll see in a new place how light it is. This is the hallway. Lots of cabinets. That's what the hallway is looking like. We did not tear this place apart. It came like this. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the bedroom. <laughs> We're just cleaning. They open up the blinds a little. Yeah. There's the closet up there. I can't believe all of our stuff fit in that closet. Wow. That desk we're going to get rid of, I think. I don't know if Bunny want to take it or not. Um, we're definitely getting rid of the chairs and stuff. Yeah, it's all just mostly trash. And then the bathroom. Here's the bathroom, you guys. We walk in. Sorry, the noise. This is the cabinets. We still have to clean this stuff out. Um, so we're just gonna grab the rest of this little stuff, clean everything up. A lot of it is trash. Clean up the tub. The tub has debris in it from moving. Um, but yeah have those lights but there you see that guys up there that's um where the water 
we kept having a problem with this apartment that water would fill in the ceiling and then come in through. They actually had to repatch this area because it was like a bubble of water that broke through and fell in the shower. And so now that's doing the same over there. So it was time to go, y'all. It was time to go. Um, but yeah, and then I'm in the living room. And just a quick pan of the place. No more wall units. We have central AC. Um, Bunny spackled some holes there. And yeah, that's the apartment. Um, yeah, I think that was everything. A full overview of the apartment. Um, and yeah, that was it. I just wanted to show you guys our old place. Bye, old place. We're going to be going to a new one. Well, we're already there, guys. We slept there last night and it was so comfortable let me tell you that building is so quiet it's freakish so that was the apartment um our old apartment tour um i'm going to we're just gonna go ahead and finish cleaning um we need to try and get this done within an hour because we need to um what am i thinking we need we have a lot of errands to run we need to pick up stuff for the house we need to clean the new place before we unpack and we also need to, um, oh, there's my water. I left this here yesterday. Um, we also need to go and look for furniture and we also need to look for a TV so we can really start setting up and making a home. So that's it guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this portion of the video. I'm gonna see you guys in the next clip. Um, so yeah, I'll see you later. Okay, look at the kitchen. Well, I don't want to show you guys the kitchen really until it's all like cleaned up, but I guess I can show you guys. We just got done dropping some stuff off. We got all of this cleaning supplies from the 99 cent store. Some of it we brought from the old apartment. <clears throat> the rest of it we pretty much just got from the 99 cent store. We're gonna scrub down the carpet. Oh, I love this refrigerator. I think that's the star of the kitchen um, yeah so we have a lot of stuff everywhere as you guys can see but we're gonna clean everything up and I think it's like two o'clock yeah two o'clock so we have some time oh you guys look at all these boxes I'll give you guys like an official tour once we kind of clean up and organize everything look at buddy trying to figure out how to get into the room probably um mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'll show you guys everything once we just let some light in once we clean everything up then I'll give you guys like a official like tour and stuff but I just I don't really care for like an empty apartment tour I know a lot of people do that but obviously the apartment's not empty anymore and yesterday I totally forgot to do the tour but this is the master it has the double doors stuff on the floor don't worry about that this is the balcony to the master let me zoom you guys out this is oh your shoes are out here if you were looking for them Scott you have shoes on the patio yeah. Already. Were you looking for those? No. The black Nikes. Bad habits already. So that's the patio in the bedroom. There's a little window. And yeah, nothing else to see. An empty room. <laughs> this is the Mama Jamma. Now this is where all of you girls are going to... You're going to see why I was okay living here. <laughs> this right here is the closet space. There's one, two, oh, don't mind this door, three closets. There's a light above here. I'm actually going to change out that fixture. I'm going to put in, oh, sorry. I'm going to put in a beautiful, like, mini chandelier. So it's going to look really nice in here. Um, that's what I'm thinking. 
And then you turn this way. Another closet. I love that the closet doors have mirrors. I hate the closet doors that don't have mirrors. Um, I think it's just the dancer in me. I love mirror walls. And there is the bathroom. I'll show you guys. It's like bathroom. Oh, no, just like it's like a little mini bathroom with a toilet and a shower. There's only a shower, no tub. I know. Um, but we do have the guest bathroom that has a tub, so I'll probably end up using that bathroom and Bunny will probably end up using this bathroom because I do not care for the shower. We are going today to replace the shower head. We want the rainforest shower head and this we just bought for the 99 cent store to clean out the shower. Um, and we we're doing some cleaning in here. I also ordered an over the toilet hutch um, that should be coming soon that I'm going to put in. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the sink, the vanity. Um, a lot of the detailing in this apartment is pretty old, but don't worry, we're gonna update it. I'm gonna paint these cabinets white. I'm gonna add um, little, what do you call them, knobs to them. So we're gonna update that. Um, we might end up updating the sink. I don't know. Uh, so yeah. It's a big mirror and then the towel rack is all the way over here which is really odd to me because you grab a towel as soon as you get out of the shower however there's no towel rack on this wall or anywhere in here for that matter so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna go to Home Depot today to get the shower head I'm just gonna pick up an extra towel rack that I can install right there oh you know what buddy if you have your measuring thing um I'll need to measure this wall for the the um the towel rack. And then it's just like this little space back here for the closet. And I'm thinking on this wall right here of putting some shelving units where I can put like, I don't know, this will probably go in the bathroom. I don't know, but I'm thinking about putting my clear shelves there. I'm not entirely sure, just thinking about it. This is all, don't judge me guys, like this is, we just threw everything in here, like we had to get out. This is all of my Bath and Body Works stuff, again don't judge me, minus the soaps. I already put the soaps in a bin and organized them and put them inside of the laundry room. Um, I just have the winter candy apples out now because I think I'm going to use those, but not entirely sure. And all of this stuff is going to be stored in that over the toilet hutch, hopefully if it has enough space. Um, these drawers down here work. However, the long drawers, you guys know those are usually fake. They don't work, which is fine. But we have tons of cabinet space. The only thing is I hate the carpet with the sink. Like, whose idea was this? Seriously. I wish they would have just carried the towel out of here on here and even they could have carried the tile out even into the the closet area as well i think that would look cute um but yeah that's the plan as of right now i'll leave this on because i have to come back in here so that was the master um bedroom oh bunny's waiting for me because here's no. the oh you're not Here's the hall. It is bright in here. We just have all the windows closed because we're not, we're, we're leaving in a minute. And don't mind the mess. This is the living room, you guys. Um, I'll try and climb over this so I can show you the patio. Here's the fireplace. I absolutely love the fireplace. That's one of my favorite things. And out here is, I'm not gonna go out there because that door is really hard to open. It's just like another mini standing balcony where you can stand out there. Um, and then we have two big windows and then this is the main patio. Um, so you guys can see, we're gonna get some furniture to go out there. Oh my God, all this stuff you guys, just please don't mind it. It's giving me anxiety, but it's okay, I'm fine. Then, we move into the dining room, which we're not sure what we're gonna do with this room yet. Office. I want, <laughs> Bunny said, Bunny says office. He's convinced that this should be my office area, but I kind of want to leave it as like a community space and put like a table and chairs, like make it like a cute dining room. Tell her y'all, tell her, tell her that's the office. 
Tell her. <laughs> but he wants me to have this office space, which I really appreciate because that's really nice of him um, to want to give me a space to work in. Uh, so we don't know. We might we might try to figure something out where we put like table and chairs here or something like that. Put like desk in the corner maybe over there and then put table and chairs here. I don't know. But it has three large windows and it's a ceiling fan. And those are all of our computer equipment. And then we're back to the kitchen. Oh, I didn't show you guys the guest bedroom. So... There's a guest bedroom. This is probably where Bunny will be keeping most of his stuff. So this is like a little hall area. This is the cloak closet. I actually already started organizing this. Oop. Uh, yeah, I actually already started organizing it in here. I put like the little footstool there to put our shoes on and some hangers. I put a bin for Bunny's hats, another bin for our gloves, um, fabric masks and stuff like that, scarves, and then a bin for my hats. Then there's more cabinets here. Um, I hate that yellow light. I'm probably going to switch out the light bulb for a bright white one. Um, so yeah. And then this is the bathroom. Don't mind Bunny's clothes on the floor. We're going to go get laundry baskets and stuff now. Um, yep, here's the bathroom. There's nothing to see in here, really. Again, replacing the, the uh, shower head. You guys already know. There's this medicine cabinet. I absolutely love this medicine cabinet because it has, like, mirrors all in it. Y'all know I love the mirrors. So, I don't know. I just really like it. Um, so this is probably the bathroom I'll spend most of my time in, honestly, because the tub's there. Bunny will be in the other one, probably. Oh, oh, there's no light in here, but there is the window. This is the guest bedroom. The second bedroom. And we have the bed frame in here already, but don't get me even started on the bed frame because it stressed Bunny out. But here's what we slept last night. And then there's a closet. And the best part, actually, let me open the window. Because the best part about this room is this little nook area that I thought was just so cute and fun. You can put a desk in there, a vanity, um, put shelves with your shoes. It's just a little area that, I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool. So what we plan to do is probably put a bed the bed on this wall and two nightstands and then across from it we're gonna put a tv um and a fireplace an electric fireplace which we already got that came before we moved it's right there in that box underneath that and then um we were, were thinking about putting that brown couch in the living room in this corner somewhere and making it really super cozy maybe hang a plant with some a throw or something like that but yeah that's the plan um let me close this blinds back i just don't want anybody to see inside of here um cool and then the last spot is the door <laughs> get out no um i love the hardwood floors of course and then here's the laundry room this is this is okay the laundry room is my number one favorite thing the closets is my number two favorite thing oh my god to have a laundry room with brand new washing and dryer you do not know we have cabinet space up there which we've already started to fill um i have like our detergent and bath tissues that one's empty I think that one has the bath soaps yeah I have the bath soaps in that little bin and there's a little window in the laundry room so you can get light um, I'm gonna go right now and get laundry basket as I just told you guys so don't mind that dirty stuff in the corner and then in here is like where they keep the water heater but there's actually a little bit of space so I stored some Christmas decor and some craft supplies in there and I'll probably end up storing my filming equipment in there 
and that's it you guys this is the place that is it yep all right okay guys and that's it we're gonna go ahead and get ready well i'm pretty much ready i don't know what bunny has to do but we're gonna get ready and we're gonna head out we have a lot of errands to run and i need to get a lot of stuff and then we also need to clean we need to set up the internet because i start work again tomorrow so i need to order my desk because bunny convinced me to get the desk i wanted you guys there is this beautiful desk it's the lasite i think it's called lasite palm beach desk oh my god you guys it's all glass it's so freaking pretty and it's two thousand dollars and i was debating i'm like should i get it is that too much for a desk but bunny had a really good point in the car he was saying you have to imagine you're gonna spend most of your time at that desk out of all the places in the apartment that's where you're gonna spend most of your time so you need to make sure that you really really love it and it's somewhere that you want to be so if you want to spend two thousand dollars on a desk then you should and make sure it's the one that you really really want so i think i'm gonna go ahead and put the order in today and get that desk and i'm also gonna order my chandeliers because i have decided i wasn't sure if i wanted to put chandeliers in there but now i have definitely decided the chandeliers must go in here um so yeah, guys, that's it. This is my place. Look at the light, you guys. Oh, and all the windows aren't even open. Uh, I have a few things in here already, but yeah, I'm super happy. My favorite, favorite part is this area right here. Oh, yes. Yes, closet space. Yes. Oh, yes. And to change that out and a chandelier baby girl i'm so happy about it okay so that's it you guys i'm gonna see you loves in the next clip i just wanted to check in and say hi we finished the last apartment we got it all clean we're officially out of there i just have to turn in the mailbox key um i know when i showed you guys the footage of the apartment on my cell phone that the apartment looked trashed but i promise you it is not trashed we cleaned it very, very well when we left. We spackled the walls and all the holes, and we made sure it was really, really nice. So don't you worry. We are not bad tenants. Um, so um, I'll talk to you guys soon because Bunny's on the phone with his family right now, and I don't want to be disrespectful. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey, guys. Can you see me? Am I in focus? Okay, you guys. It is 8 o'clock. At night we I think I showed you guys we moved out of the place I, I forgot to show you the finished clean apartment we went and ran our errands we didn't get everything we needed to get done done we had a list but we did get majority of it done um, we found two TVs one for the living room and then one for Bunny's room which is aka the guest room um, I didn't want a TV in my room because I like my my room to just be kind of tranquil because I work in front of monitors all day, so I don't want a monitor in my room. Also, please, um, if you guys hear water in the background, that's Bunny. He's cleaning the entire apartment. He just put the um, shower head fixtures up in both bathrooms, so he's doing a little bit of maintenance and just cleaning up. But I thought I'd end this vlog with a haul, since that's mainly what we've done all day, is go around and get things that we needed for the apartment oh you guys I actually can't show you this because it isn't in here we actually already have it in the laundry room but I got this cute laundry basket it's so cute I'm in love with it um but maybe I'll show you guys I'll take the camera in there and show you guys um once we're done but we're in my closet because this is the only place that has like a light fixture um the living room needs lamps bunny's room which is where our bed is I'm sleeping in his room with him right now because my bed's not here so his room has a lamp in there and so the rest of the house oh well the dining room has a light fixture and the kitchen but outside of that my bedroom does not have a light fixture so I have to film in here for now until we get lamps 
And I did see some really cute lamps, but I decided not to get them because I wasn't entirely sure. Like, I love the base. I just didn't like the lampshades. Anyways, does not matter, you guys. I'm so tired. Don't mind the bun and all that. But I'm going to show you guys really quickly. It's actually really hot in here. I don't know if it's because I've been cleaning. But I'm just going to take this off. I'm going to show you guys really quickly what I picked up today. Bunny also went to... What the heck is... Oh my gosh. <sighs> Bunny also went to Target. We went to the Americana and I went to that Home Goods. Oh my God, the line was so long and it was so busy. Then Bunny went into the Marshalls line because he had stuff he wanted to get there. And then he also went over to the Target and picked up some stuff for the guest bathroom. So I'll show you his stuff if he hasn't put it up already. But you guys also look at this cute workout outfit that I got from marshalls it's so cute i don't know if you can tell because it's so darker in here but it's like this um crocodile or leopard emeralds green color i don't know i think it's super cute and here's what the back looks like yeah so anyways check out your marshalls if you're looking for um if you're looking for workout clothes i'm so tired so just don't mind me you guys also my head is a little bit out of it because I'm exhausted. Do we have time left on here? We do indeed. Okay, so let's begin. The first place that we went to, some of the stuff is already up. So we went to um, Home Depot and we got two shower heads. We got the Rainforest shower head to go into the shower because that's what Bunny wanted. And then we just got another um, six, I think it's six different types of water spritzer i don't know but it's just another shower head and it spritz spritzes out water six different ways and we put that in the guest bathroom and then what else do we get from home depot i don't know i can't remember but i have this in front of me so i'll show you this we also got this six 18 inch um towel bar uh you guys heard me mention oh i wish i would have gotten that's okay it's fine you guys heard me mention um when i was showing you the tour of the place that the little bathroom in my mask in the bath what can i talk the little bathroom in here with the, the um shower doesn't have a towel rack so we're gonna install this i'm not gonna tell you guys prices and stuff like that because i can't remember them and the video will be like super long so i'm just gonna show you everything because i really need to start putting these things away then let's just go ahead and get into home goods sorry guys i'm like uh, itching my eyes it's all types of things because of the dust because we're cleaning okay okay so i got a few things for both bathrooms actually i really was looking for something very pretty and crystal but then i thought I really just want something kind of plain and clear because I think what I'm gonna go with is like pink clear crystal and silver and white in the bedroom so I wanted to incorporate some more crystal stuff so I got this um, crystal set this is a bathroom set this is like the little uh, cup and this is by the brand simple choice um, and at six 99 i know i said i wasn't going to share the prices but i can't help it okay um so i got that and there's a whole set to it but it's in a different bag so i'm just gonna move on i'm not gonna look for that set but i picked that up and this i'm not sure where all this stuff is going you come in sorry buddy that's not going in here this huh? one isn't that going in the master the uh guest bathroom i don't know yeah I have plans in here. I purchased them. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> I'm purchasing. I have plans in here. <laughs> so Bunny was putting up the ba his bathroom stuff in here, and I had to have him go to the other bathroom because I have plans in here. Um, so yeah, this is simple choice and the rest of it is somewhere around, but I'm just going to go, um, whatever comes out of the bag, I'll just show you. 
so i also got this aromatherapy stress relief candle in the scent magnolia and bergamot um and this is hand poured what hand poured candle coconut wax blend i've never had a coconut wax candle but this was ten dollars is it focusing i hope it is Oh, there you go. This was $10 and I got this one for Bunny. I thought he'd really like that. It's by the brand Red Leaf Home. I like the wood top, but I thought that Bunny would really like this one. Yeah, this one's really nice. Hey, Bunny. I have a candle for you. I have a candle for you. You want to come and get it? Oh, and this was $10, you guys, by the way. He's probably going to come get it. And then I found this rose gold slash copper little caddy. I thought that I could put things um, in the kitchen inside of here. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it quite yet, but it was only $8. And I thought it was a cute little kitchen caddy because the kitchen is white, black, and copper. Well, white, black, and rose gold slash copper. So got that for the kitchen. Um, I did get this for you too, buddy. Uh, for the guest bathroom. Um, and then, I don't know where the trash can is, but there's a matching trash can somewhere around here that matches this. This is just a cup for the bathroom. I thought to put like toothbrushes and stuff in. Not sure if this is going in this bath. I think I'm going to keep the clear. I'll have to talk to Bunny and see what he likes better. If he likes the clear or he would prefer the white. I don't really mind either. But this was $5.99. It's kind of crusted with um silver i don't know if you guys can see that because it's so dark but yeah and then i got two acrylic trays well one one acrylic tray and one glass tray for the sink i got this one was 15 dollars and it is by hotel bell floor yeah ball floor hotel ball four um, and I don't know, I just love hotel brand bathroom stuff. So it's just this clear acrylic tray to put like colognes, perfumes, hair care, whatever you want to put on it. Um, and I also got a glass one too. Hey, buddy. It's probably mad at me. Okay. So, and then I got the second glass tray. This was actually $13, and this is by the brand Simple Choice. The same as this little cup, and so this will go on it. I'll show you guys how to look, but it'll, like, you can set this on it, and a soap tray and all that on it. Soap tray. I am so tired, guys, but yeah. <laughs> and then I also got, I forgot I got this. I also got the Hope, and this is from the brand Art Home. I got the soap dispenser to the um, little cup as well. I thought they were super cute together. I'm going to ask Bunny which one he wants, and then we'll go from there. Um, okay. Shit. I just hung that. Oh, man. Okay, so I have to see how I'm going to figure this out because I just hung the mirror on the door and now I'm thinking that, shoot, I'll probably end up having to hang the mirror. Oh God, I'll have to figure it out. Um, anyways, I found this over the door hook rack for like towels and things like that for the bathroom door and it just has like rhinestones right there and I thought that this was super cute and it was only $5.99 so got that for my bathroom again not to confuse you guys but my room is like crystal silver white and pink what's this oh that's something else I'll show you guys that another time Dude, she wrapped this stuff pretty good wasn't trying to show you. Okay, here's what I want. This bucket. That's the trash can. Okay, so the next thing in here 
is this like cotton ball tray it was ten dollars i don't know what it is but i thought that i could put like cotton balls and things like that in here and it was by the brand simple choice again this is something that will sit on that tray and then a toothbrush holder this is by hotel balfour this is glass. Even though this one's acrylic, this is glass. This will also be going with the um, Simple Choice uh, brand because I liked the silver lining on it just to tie in with some of the silver that I have going on. And then I also got from Simple Choice this a glass and silver, just a plain like hotel style soap dispenser and it was only $12.99 um, I'm pretty sure I have soap dispensers in storage but I'm pretty sure I'm probably not gonna want to use those so boom 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 oh and then I got the trash can to match the white so I'm not sure I have to ask Bunny and find out what he really wants because this will go nice in in here as well since it is silver um, so I have to ask him and find out so bear with me Okay, and then I just went into like the Easter section and I think I almost just had a heart attack because, wait, am I missing something? What is this? I have a lot of stuff. Oh shoot, I'm missing something guys. There's a lot, but I'm happy I'm doing this now because then I can kind of organize it. Um, I found this lantern i thought this was really really pretty um i'm not sure if it's going to go on the balcony or the patio or which balcony it's going to go on we have three so i'm not entirely sure but i have this moroccan themed idea going on in my head with the patios um i asked, actually would like to bring it into the house too but i'm just not sure how bunny feels about that so i already have like this you guys are actually sitting on it this pink moroccan table like ceramic table that i'm gonna put out on the patio so i thought this lantern might go great with that this was 12.99 oh 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 you guys i found some ray dunn stuff and this is for the kitchen it's sweetheart um, and I like it because I feel like it can be for Valentine's Day all the way through to Easter because it has the bunny so the bunny is cute for Easter and then sweetheart is kind of you know Valentine's Day thing but it's just this cute little candy or cookie jar I'm not entirely sure but I think it's super cute and I got this to go in the kitchen bunny Come here for a see. come here for a second. Yes, mouse. Do you like this? This is the candle I got you. It's nice. Smell it out. Take off the lid. It's okay. You don't it like will it. be. You don't like you burn it. it? No, no, no. I do. Put this in my bathroom. Yeah, whatever you like. There, and um, also while you're here. Um, I got some stuff, but I now I don't know what you want because I don't know what towels you got and stuff. I had gotten this originally, the white stuff, uh -huh. but I don't mind if, if this is, you don't like this. Um, I do. Oh, you do? Yeah. Does it match the towels and stuff in there? Yeah. Okay, because I did get some like hotel plain clear stuff, um, which I was just going to use. Um, yeah. But if you want the hotel clear stuff, no, no, no. instead we can switch. No, yeah. that's dope. You take that. It's dope. Whichever one. I like them both. I'll take the white. You take the white? Okay. Um, and then I have this acrylic. You don't have to use this if you don't want to, but I thought you might want to set this on the sink. You can put like stuff in it like colognes, hair stuff. So yeah. it looks organized. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Okay, I'll bring this in here. In there? And, yeah, yeah, I'll bring it in there. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, um, what else were we looking for? Okay, so then, like I was saying, I was <laughs> I went to the Easter section, got this. I thought he was pretty cute. Then I also got this, and I think he's wood, but now that I'm holding him, he feels more ceramic. He was $12.99. 
and I thought he would look really cute sitting out in front of the door. You guys cannot see, this is so bad. But he is pink and he's crusted with gold. So maybe if I sit back this way, you guys can see. Really big rabbit. So I'm gonna put him out in front of the door. I think he could he could be Valentine's Day into Easter as well, especially if I put the Valentine's wreath out. That's what I'm gonna try to do, you guys. I think I'm gonna try to mix my Valentine's Day decor with Easter and just try to trickle out Easter with Valentine's Day. Smart idea, Zuri. Okay, and then I got something else that uh, I really, really didn't need, but do I ever need any other stuff that I get? No. I saw that they had these pastel pink Christmas trees, and I thought, oh my god, I wanted one of these for Christmas and couldn't find it anywhere, and now they have them, Home Goods has them out for, um, for Easter. Why do they have Christmas trees out for Easter? I'm not entirely sure, but this does light up. And these are cheaper than the ones that were there for Christmas. I think Christmas, they had like, these ones were, I want to say were $25, and this one is $16.99. So I thought that was really pretty, and it has like a pearl sheen on it. They also had a Valentine's Day one with a heart at the top, and like pink and white and clear um, lights but I felt like it couldn't easily transition into the Christmas season so I didn't really want to get that just for Valentine's Day but I feel like I can use this for Christmas and Easter so I popped it um what else oh let me see and then you guys I've been seeing these Ray Dawn throws going around and they have this one in gray and in pink it's just the pink Radon throw. Look, she let me keep the hanger. It says Radon on it. And then there's a patch at the bottom that says Honey Bunny. <laughs> oh my god. It's so cute. But I thought that this would be cute again for Easter to throw on like the couch or wherever. So, got that. Is that it? Did I show you guys these? I don't even think I showed you these. Okay, so I got these two candles. I'm not going to unwrap the other one because I'm just, I can't right now. Um, but they're like sand covered and it is in the scent Apple Blossom. And it was $12.99 a piece. I got two of them. I really like them. They look very modern and I'm trying to go more modern, you guys. My last style was very like old, well not old school, but like Victorian era style. I really like that royalty princess queen type of vibe but for some reason this year i'm just not feeling it like i'm really just feeling modern so i'm trying to figure out how i can incorporate glam into modern pieces as well it's really hard but i'm working on it um so i got two of those candles don't know where they're gonna go um but i got them I got these knobs. I got four of them and they were $8. They were on clearance. They're just like crystal knobs and Lord knows I have no idea what I was going to do with these because I just thought this could add some glam to the room but I was thinking I could put them on my sink cabinets but there's not enough of them. There are only four and I have one, two, three, I have six cabinets and two drawers so I don't think that these are gonna work I'm gonna have to go back and return these or look for another pack maybe I'll look for another pack maybe I don't know so got those um, oh I got this I love this this is a soap disp duh what am i talking about this is a soap i got this for the kitchen because the kitchen like i told you guys is white black and um rose gold so i got this little soap dispenser and this is by l decor and it was 9.99 so i thought that was really cute and just look it matches my little shower my not shower caddy what am i saying it matches my kitchen caddy where i can put like I don't know, maybe sauces or something in here, maybe coffee um, in there. Bunny might like that if we put like coffee in there. That might be cute. Oh, another Ray Dunn. Look at, look at, look at. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Um, and then I got this pack of Ray Dunn. This is a pack of two jewelry boxes. One has a heart and one says XOXO in pink. 
I'm um, not entirely sure what I'm going to use this for, but I know that I need storage. So I also picked up this for $4.99. It's just a pink Easter egg. Again, Easter decor. Easter will be coming up, and I don't want to miss out on that. And that was $5.99. They had, or $4.99, they had tons of these in different sizes, shapes, designs, and colors. Of course, you guys know. When I saw the pink one, I was like, I gotta get it. I saw this in the office aisle and I had to get these for my desk. One says create and one says write and they're pink and they're by Ray Dunn and they were each $6.99. So I thought that was really cool. I'll probably put pins in one and then like pencils or markers in the other. And I thought that was just really cute to sit on my desk. <laughs> um, okay. And I think... That's it, except for this big bag right here, that you guys probably don't even care to see, but since I did not give you guys an empty apartment tour and a moving day vlog, I wanted to try to incorporate some more moving type content. So I'm gonna show you guys as much as I can. Right. Oh, I didn't show you guys this. I forgot I even got this. Oh, wow. Um, it's been a long day. <laughs> but I got this full queen duvet set and it is a blush pink color. Just this blush pink color and it's got like these prints on them and it comes in like this reusable bag. I thought it was so cute. It is by the brand Luxury Bedding, New York. And I don't know, I really liked it. I thought that it was really simplistic while still incorporating that girly feminine feel to it. So we're gonna try these on my bed and see how I like it. Not 100% sold on it yet, but um, I feel like we'll try it and we'll see, you know? Then I got another throw because I just feel like you can't have too many throws. And this one is the Marlo Lorenz throw, um, and it's 20 bucks. It's just another blush, oh, warm throw. So I got that. The throw on probably on a chair or something. We'll see. And then I got these towels. I got the Kate Spade uh, washcloth set of four. And then I also got the hand towel. And I also got the body towel. So yeah, that is everything I think I got today. Um, let me show you guys the laundry room really quick so you can see the basket. And let me show you guys what Bunny's doing in, in the guest bathroom. So you guys can see that as well. So let me just get you guys turned around. Okay, so look at the mess that is this room right now. Seriously. Oh, see? Okay, he's got a black and white damask print thing going on here. So here's the rug that he put out. That's cute. That's actually cute. And this is by the Threshold brand. He got this from Target. Actually, this is really cute. I like this. Again, you guys, we might be painting the cabinets white. So don't worry about the brown clashing with the black. He put the shower head up. And he added his towels here. Same Threshold brand, I'm guessing. Yep, Threshold. And it's just like a really pretty white and black damask print and then he got these gray towels as well um yeah i guess those are just extra towels that he picked up i don't know but they are nice i don't i he did good he did a lot better than i than i expected um 
Okay, so we're gonna bring his um, sink stuff in here, but first I'm gonna show you guys this light. Okay, don't mind this ugly basket. <laughs> Um, and don't mind those, though. that's just to my wardrobe rack. I'm going to put that away. It does not belong here. But you guys, look at my laundry basket. Isn't it so cute? Like, yes. I love it. It's so cute. Okay, so. And then we have to get two more laundry baskets. One in, in each bathroom for the towels. Okay, you guys, you see all this. <laughs> All right, so that's it, guys. I think, let me just get into the proper light. Okay, guys, popping back in real quick. I forgot to show you these three bags. This from HomeGood. You guys, it's so cute. It's a pink bunny. And you guys already saw this one earlier. And this one is kind of woodsy with gold. He's bigger. This one's going out in front of the door. Um, the front door. Hopefully no one steals it. Because I'll be super, super pissed if that happens. But then I got this guy. I thought he's so cute. Um, I'll probably put him in the living room. Not entirely sure. But he was $9.99. I'm just putting all of my Easter decor stuff right here in the corner. And then, I forgot I got this. Wow. Girl, and the seats are end up. Okay, I got this Ray Dunn Wake Up and Makeup Duo Set. It's like for makeup brushes and things like that. And this was $16.99. I figured I could use this on my vanity. I don't know. Not sure. But yeah, that's what I was thinking. Vanity. Um, so I got that. Did I show you guys these? No. I didn't. I don't think I showed you guys these. I got these two a plant lover Ray Dunn plant pots. And this pretty glossy pink color. And these were $7.99 each. I love the like brown twine on them. I just feel like that makes it very, very homey and warm and relatable because tan is in right now. So I thought that was really nice. And I plan on just putting like plants in these. I'm gonna set one on the balcony and then probably one in the kitchen. Um, but I got two of them. And yeah, guys, that's it. Sorry about that. I can't believe I've just been so tired and out of it. Yes, I'll be right there. I've just been so tired and out of it that I miss that, but um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, now I'll go ahead and close out the video. So that's it guys. I think I'm gonna go and try and put all this stuff away. I'm really actually pretty tired um, and it's pretty early, but I'm still tired. So I'm going to put all this stuff away and try and organize, at least put it in the right room. And um, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I will see you loves in the next video. Bye.